Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. So today we're gonna to be talking about how much I paid for CRNA school total. I'm gonna to go through all the numbers kind of in chronological order as best as I can, starting with my application fee and ending with my graduation fees and how much board costs. I'm going to write everything on the screen as I'm going through it to try and help you guys visualize it better. And I'm also then gonna talk about how much I got in grants, so how much money I basically like saved off of school. Let me scoot over really fast so there's room for me to show you on the screen. And let's get right into it. If you see me looking down, it's because I wrote everything on a paper and literally taped it right below the camera right here because I can't remember all these numbers. There's so many. So first things first, my application fee was $50. That was just to apply to CRNA school, not even knowing if I had gotten in yet or not. And once I got accepted, the next fee I had to pay was my matriculation fee, accepting my spot in school, and that was $1,000. After paying my matriculation fee, I had to pay my first year of tuition. That was $31,600, and I paid that every year in May for three years, so total for tuition, I paid $94,800. That was just for tuition, just to be able to go to school. Next, I bought my books, which thankfully I bought them used from an upperclassman who had graduated before me, and I paid $509 for all my books, so that was really cheap. They should have cost more like $2,000, so I'm thankful for that savings. After books, I had to buy supplemental resources such as Apex Anesthesia, Prodigy Anesthesia, and I chose to buy Vargo Anesthesia, the app, if you don't know, I'm obsessed with Vargo. I love the Vargo app. I still use it all the time as a CRNA. It is like the number one essential thing I think you need to have when you're an SRNA or a CRNA. And no, I'm not sponsored. I just love their app. So total on my supplemental resources, I spent $754 over the three years. I already had a stethoscope and trauma shears and all that kind of stuff that you need in your pockets, but there's one thing I didn't have that was a precordial stethoscope or a Wanger stethoscope. So they made us get fitted for them because the ear fitting fits in your ear like specific to you. So we had to get those in the beginning of school, get molded, all that. It was $75 for my precordial stethoscope. Throughout the course of anesthesia school, I did have to renew my RN license and I spent $195 renewing my RN license. And I also had to purchase an AANA membership, American Association of Nurse Anesthetists membership, and that was discounted for students and that was $200 and covered me throughout school. That membership is useful because it gives you access to journals, you get sent them every month. It gives you access to everything online and you're able to attend conferences and get CEs and things like that. I also had to purchase case tracking software, which is called Meditrex, that's the one we used. And that's because you have to have a minimum number of hours and cases to graduate school. You also have to have a minimum certain amount of cases, like specialty cases. So for example, we had to have open heart cases, closed heart cases, crany cases, pediatric cases, belly cases, like all the kinds of cases you can imagine. We had to have certain amount of those. So every day after clinical, we tracked them in the system called Meditrex, which is online with your personal logging. That is also where we received clinical evaluations every day from the CRNAs we were with. So for Meditrex total for the three years of school, I paid $210. It was $105 for like half of school. And then we paid $105 for the other half. I don't know why it's not just one fee, but that's how it worked. And at the end of school, our school downloads our transcripts off Meditrex, sends them to the accreditation board, and that's how we get a permission to take boards. Another fee you incur when you're in school or graduate school is paying for graduation and regalia. So that's your cap and gown. And that would have been around $1,000, but our school actually paid for it for us, so I didn't have to pay anything. Now, I'm not sure if other schools pay for it, if this is a normal thing, I'm glad that my school did, but maybe look into it when you're doing your estimates for your school, because I don't really know, I'll have to ask around about that. Okay, so I've made it all the way to graduation, got my regalia, all that stuff. I don't even know if I'm saying that word right actually, regalia, hopefully I am, because I'm always pronouncing stuff wrong and people are always correcting me. Now the next fee, the last fee of CRNA school, thankfully, is taking boards. So you do have to pay take boards just like you have to pay for NCLEX or any other kind of certification test. And that is $1,000 to be able to take boards, which kind of adds to the stress because you don't wanna to have to pay and retake them. You wanna pass the first time, but I digress. So it was $1,000 to take boards. Thankfully, I passed the first time. And that means total for CRNA school, I paid $98,793, including everything. 
The only thing I did not add on to there was conferences I attended because I got scholarships for the conferences I attended and I didn't have to pay anything. Also, they're not mandatory, so it's not really part of the whole tuition thing because you don't have to go to them. They're just fun and educational. Now, I said I would tell you about the grants I got. So I got $2,400 in grants when I was in school and this actually was from my school. So our school applied for grants for the entire program and when they got approved for the grants, they actually came to us like through our school. So our school got the money and then divided it up and gave it to us. And we actually got them every year, $800 a year approximately. So that was $2,400 total. So that brought my total amount spent to $96,393. I was happy it was less than 100,000 because I had estimated 100,000 before I started attending school. And that was the number I was going with um, because I knew how much tuition was, but I didn't know how much extra stuff I would have to buy. Now, if you remember in the beginning, I told you I spent $94,800 on tuition tuition. My total for school was $98,793. So that means that I spent $3,993 more than tuition. So that almost $4,000 was just on things in addition to tuition that you need to go to CRNA school. So that's kind of a good chunk of money. It's not really that much compared to the total, but it's something to consider that you are gonna have to pay more than just what the tuition listed on the website is. And for my research, that's pretty average for most programs. I also wanted to talk about other considerations you should have when you're calculating all this that I didn't have and that is traveling for clinical. I never had to travel for clinical, but some programs do require you to, and you would have to pay for that if you were traveling for clinical. Um, parking, I never had to pay for parking. Our hospital supplied it to us. All the places we went to clinical let us park for free, but in bigger cities like LA, New York City, Boston, things like that, I've heard that people do have to pay for parking passes at the hospitals that they're doing their clinical rotations at. And you also want to account for living expenses. While these are not actually part of your school expenses, it is something to consider. You need to know how much you're spending a year on just living, and that is something you definitely need to prepare for when you're going into CRNA school. All right, guys, let me scoot back to the middle here so that I can close out this video because I feel we are just sitting on the side now. But I hope you found this video helpful and informative. I've been wanting to make it for a while. I should have made it right when I graduated, but I definitely wanted to share it with you guys so you see all the expenses that go into school in addition to tuition. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps out my channel. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any more videos from me. I make CRNA videos, life videos, vegan videos, baby bee videos, any kind of videos you can imagine. And I'd love to make travel videos, but obviously that's not a thing right now. So thanks again for watching. As always, I hope you have an amazing week and I will see you next week.